Tip Tut. Hello everybody and welcome to Tip Tut. Today something a little bit different. I'm going to take you through my setup because a couple of people have been asking um, what it is I use to record uh, and what my PC specs are and things like that. Hopefully it's interesting to uh, at least some of you. Again in advance, sorry for the poor quality uh, camera work here. My lighting in my living room is terrible, hence why I rarely ever record in here. Um, so let's just dive right in then. First of all, I've got a custom built PC uh, by Chill Blast, which is a company in the UK that builds basically gaming PCs and um, big powerful powerhouse PCs, things like that. Um, inside there, first of all, there is an R4 low noise case, which is basically full of padding because I've got a huge Noctua NH uh, D14 CPU cooler, which is basically a, a huge succession of fans. It's great. Um, that keeps everything nice and cool, including the uh, i7 processor. Um, it's 4770K, 3.4 gigahertz. Um, I really only know that i7 is good when it comes to that sort of thing. Um, there's 32 gigabytes of RAM split into four eight gigabyte sticks, um, 1600 megahertz. Uh, it's better like that because multitasking is great because it can use individual sticks of RAM, doesn't have to bump up two if it doesn't need to, that sort of thing. Um, there is a gigabyte NVIDIA in there, um, GTX 970. It's the WF3 version, four gigabytes, um, which again has a load of fans in it, but you need a huge beefy case just to fit it in because it is so massive. Um, that's a great graphics card. Uh, there's an Asus Z87 Pro motherboard uh, and a 250 gigabyte solid state drive with the OS on it. And then three two terabyte hard drives, um, one which it came with and two that I've added just for storage because wow, um, footage takes up a lot of space. Uh, then there's something like a 750 watt power supply and obviously it's running Windows 10. Um, up on top, the interesting stuff, I've got two Asus monitors. I used to have three, but one broke. Um, these are the VC239H. Um, they're obviously LCD IPS, uh, matte finish screens, so there's absolutely no glare at all. It's fantastic. They're very good on your eyes. It's got blue light filters, that sort of thing. Um, and when my third one um, was up, I had it up on a big uh, monitor bracket arm, but it broke. Um, so I replaced one of the screens with this XP Pen Artist 22E graphics tablet, um, which is a knockoff Cintiq, and it's lovely. I may do a review on it, who knows. Um, what else is there then? Uh, the, both monitors are raised up on this little glass platform thing. You can see here, just to give me a bit more space and a bit better play um, because I'm working on a pretty small desk in the corner here. Uh, again, this video footage is making me want to vomit. It's awful. Um, sound wise, I've got a Razer Leviathan soundbar over in the corner here. Um, and obviously then there's the subwoofer underneath, which is great, that huge black box there. Um, that goes into, or rather comes out of, um, this Focusrite 2i2 sound card, um, one XLR in and an instrument in as well, which is great if I can see if I can squeeze in there. So you can see, uh, this is a thing that I use for mixing. I'll keep it nice and simple. Um, that orange wire goes out the back to my Rode mic arm, uh, and that is the PSA 10, no, PSA 1 version, sorry. Um, this just can extend out like so, swing out towards me, uh, push it down a bit like this, and then that is obviously what I record with it like, uh, and then it folds away nice and neatly when I'm not using it, which is great. Um, uh, the microphone that I use is a Rode M3. It's really good all-rounder and it hasn't let me down yet. I've really enjoyed using it. So yeah, what else then? Uh, I've got a Razer uh, Black Widow um, Chroma Tournament Edition keyboard. <laughs> it's uh, flashy and cool, serves no purpose really that a normal keyboard wouldn't. Uh, and I've got the diamond back uh, mouse there, which is great, very clicky, I love it. Um, I've got my Surface Pro 4 for on the go, kind of sketching, that's the i5 model. And probably most importantly, I've got my little sketch pad and roll of pencils and things down there, um, which is always very, very useful. So that's pretty much the setup that I use for TipTut. Um, obviously all the Adobe software, things like that as well, all the um, best independent stuff too. For tip walks, I use the Smart Lav microphone, um, which I have on me right now. That's the Smart Lav microphone there, just pinned to my chest. Um, that's plugged directly via a SC3 adapter into my Zoom H1 audio recorder, which is currently in my pocket, which is why you're seeing the box. 
Um, and then there's just a little bag that the microphone is usually in as well. Whilst out and about walking, I stabilize everything on my Smooth C gimbal, which I'm obviously holding at the moment. So here is a lovely picture from where I bought it on Amazon. Um, it's all right, it's not bad. It wobbles a bit, as you can probably tell from this uh, video, but it's not uh, the end of the world. I think it works quite well for the 180 quid that I spent on it. Um, and that is pretty much it. Um, that's all the equipment I use. It took me a while to accumulate it. Um, you don't necessarily need everything that I've got. Some of it is just for um, flashiness. Um, but hey, it's uh, my hobby. Why not spend some money on it? Uh, that's pretty much it. Um, oh, one more thing. Uh, just a pair of Razer Dara headphones when I'm editing there. They're not great because um, they've got bass boosters in them, which isn't great when you're trying to edit sort of film based audio. Um, so I'm probably going to trade those in for some classic Sennheisers or something like that. Some of the studio headphones. Uh, it's just I have those lying around from years ago. Uh, and that is it. So thanks very much for watching everybody. I hope this got some insight for the people that care, uh, the people that don't. Mm, sorry, maybe give this, this one a miss, which I probably should say at the beginning of the video rather than the end. Oh well, done it now. All right, thanks very much for watching everybody and I'll see you all next time. Remember to subscribe for more tips, tricks and tutorials. Thanks for watching.